Yeah, that's a lot of work bending that pipe, that old Harbor Freight pipe bender. Stick around and I'll give you a few tips bending that stuff. Yeah, I put some marks, the way I bend this pipe, I put some marks over a half, about a half inch apart in spots I want to bend. This particular bend, every half inch, I had a mark. Then I put it in my pipe bender, I got a mark on the die, and I got some marks on the pipe right there where I want to bend it. And uh, I just make sure this end is level, straight up and down. You don't want it like that or like that unless you want the bend to be crooked. Depends on how you want the bend, but in this case, I want it straight up and down. And, uh, and then I just bend it a little bit. Unless you want a sharp bend, and you might want to pump it a couple strokes and then move it, pump it a couple. What I do, I tighten it up to the, right before it starts bending. And then I count the strokes. Here I'd pump it two strokes after it tightened up, bend it two strokes. Move it a half inch, go bend it two strokes. So forth, so on, all the way on. Oh, okay, here, in this particular case, I just want to bend it a little bit. So I'm gonna bend it like a half a stroke on this pump, about a halfway after I got it tightened up. And then move it to the next bar and do a half a stroke and blah 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 and keep doing a little bit at a time and checking it and then when I get one this one here is almost almost the way I want it it's a little bit whoppy jawed <laughs> I want a smoother bend I'm going to try to get a smoother bend and when I get that one right I'm going to lay it on top of this one and mark this one where I need to bend it to make it match the other so I get two identical pieces there is what I'm doing okay I got some bends to make back here kind of a dog leg out to come match the width back here but before I do that I need to know it's leaning in on an angle from out right there where it goes up to the neck and so I kind of got that I had to slide it back some to get it where I want it but I got it about where it's going to be on the neck and about where it's going to be at the bottom because my motor plate my motor the hole in my motor is going to be right on the outside of that I beam there so I need room between this to put my bolt the bolt my motor to the plate when I put the plate on so I got to move this out a little bit so what I do is put that where I want it not up there where I want it and I take my And I see I got like a 10 degree, I'm going to call it 10 degree, I'm going to call it 10 degree lean there. Then I mark it, I want to bend it about the same as this, so I marked it right there. And I got that uh, in my pipe bender. I got the mark on, and I kind of snugged it up. And then I'm taking my angle finder. And I'm putting a 10 degree angle on it right there before I bend it. See, I'm starting this bend here. I gotta make a dog leg. I can come back and make another sharp bend to go back to the back tire. It's gonna be complicated to do that. But you see, I got a mark at each place where I bent it, lined it up with the die and the pipe bender. And four, that means I pump. After I tightened it up, I pumped it. Four, the pipe bender four strokes at each one of those marks so I can mimic that on the other piece when I get ready to bend it and you see I got laying flat on the table and I got my 10 degree I got my 10 degree right there so that's what that's all about so now now I need to do the other part of my dog leg. Good luck with that. Okay, what I got here, I got three marks on where I want that bend. Uh, 
And you notice I got it on that on my 10 degree angle. Now the other piece for the other side had to be on a, this way. So yeah, you got to think about all that. Keep them angles. When you make them bends, make sure you're bending at the right on the right angle and everything. So, but the reason I had, you got to do that is you see I got my 10 degree in the front drop down tube. So I had to like done the same thing at the pipe bender I'm doing with this other one only it was the other way. So when I make this bend it uh, comes up as a nanny instead of way off whoppy jaw or something. So yeah that. We don't want a whoppy jaw. And this, I'm going to tell you something. This is a uh, this is most the complicated pieces I had to make for the frame. You can imagine I got a lot of bends in it, and they all both pieces got to be the same. But I will say this: this dog leg was the hardest part. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you something I found out. First thing I've done is made one bend in the dog leg, and then come back and make the other try to make the other bend. Well, it didn't work out too good because the dies, the way the dies were set up, it, it, I mean, it's almost impossible to do one complete bend and do the other one. So what I found out to do is you get, you get your marks on there where you want the bends and you bend at each mark like one pump and then come over here and do this band, do each one one pump, and then keep going back and forth. And uh, that's the best way I found to do that dog leg. Uh, this band here is not, is probably the easiest one. Uh, this one, I just put a bunch of marks, probably every half inch. Every half inch, something like that. Of course, they was on this side so I could see them in the pipe bender. All the way around to there, and I and this bend, I think I do a couple pumps at each mark, move it, move it, move it, a couple mark, a couple pumps, and and uh, you notice this here, this here was kind of whoppy jawed last video, but I worked on it, got a little more straighter, and if you work at it a little bit at a time, you can get a pretty uniform bend there. Yeah, you'll be able to see it better when I get it on a bike, but I got it pretty pretty uniform being there now. Yeah, but this is this is just okay. This is half inch scale schedule forty pipe. Just go to Steel Yard and tell them you want some schedule half inch schedule forty pipe or whatever size you want. This uh, backbone is three quarter inch schedule forty pipe. And none of the measurements, it's not exactly three quarter on the inside, there's no exact on the outside. When you get this pipe, it ain't no dimensions specific. I mean, it's just pipe. But uh, you can work with it. Schedule 40. Uh, see, this is just is pieces of a chain link fence galvanized. That ain't nothing but pipe. You see the mark line in there for, this, I think this is like inch and a half pipe. Probably is what that is, but yeah, just pipe. I don't never buy DOM too. My stuff stuff's too expensive. I mean, it's outrageous. I guess if I was building a supercar or something, it'd be different. But for rat rods and stuff, just old Schedule 40 pipe works fine. And if you want something stronger, you can get a thicker wall pipe. They make two thick two thicknesses. This is the I think Schedule 80. If I'm not mistaken, it's a thick wall pipe. Yeah, I welded my motor plate on. And the frame was a little squoze together a little bit in the back. So I got the front tack and I used the old wedge of board and the shim in there to pry this frame out a little bit to get it lined up. Yeah, 
the old, the old wedge of board and shim in there trick. <laughs> crickets <laughs> yeah I bought me some LED lights from Harbor Freight man those things are bright yeah we got four and these could use uh, a couple four more for the sides over there but man man those things do a good job all right man that's a lot of work <laughs> building a little lower bitty chopper uh, I spent pretty much from yesterday evening to this evening bit just building these bottom bars, these two bottom ones here. Getting those to fit. Got a lot of bends in them. Yeah. A lot of bends in them bars. <laughs> uh, it's got kind of a fat butt back here, but uh, hey, who cares? Who cares? I got a fat butt too, so maybe we'll get a fat butt 10, 12 year old boy that falls in love with it. Who knows? But uh, it's, it's coming along, it's getting there. I got the frame. Got a lot more bracing to do, but I pretty much got it tacked up, braced up where it stays like it's supposed to. Uh, I think I'm gonna start working on spring front end next. That's what I'm itching to do. So let me get after it. All right, we getting it. Just ain't got it yet. Appreciate you. See you next time.